Good morning, everybody. We just got our load tarped. It's ready to go. It took me a little while. I've been here since, oh, it took me all morning. It's almost noon. It's five to noon. So this took about three and a half hours to tie it down and tarp it. I had to go find my tarps. They had actually uh, put my tarps inside uh, so that no one else would steal them. I had left them outside, wrapped them up, tagged them with my name on it, which is what we're supposed to do. Uh, but apparently people still steal them that way. So the yard guys here know me and they saw my tarps outside. So they took them inside for me just so that no one would take them. Very nice of them. Freaked me out this morning because I thought someone had stolen my tarps. Very thankful that they did that for me. So I had to go find my tarps, brought them here, threw the tarps up on top of that load, which is above my head. It was, it was pretty hard to get them up there, but we did it. No problem. And now we're on our way to Mackenzie, North Dakota. in the rest of our information here. Oh man, I forgot my trailer plate. Ah! I need to put my trailer plate into my e-log here so that I they know what trailer I'm pulling. One second, I'll be right back. Oh, I was right. 9062. Not 662, just 62. All right, no defects, pre-trip, vehicle safe to operate, blah, 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 blah. I signed my life away. If a tire falls off, they will put me in jail. Okay, maybe not that harsh, but looks like we're just about ready to go here. Another, yeah, three minutes. I finished my pre-trip a little bit early. They like us to allot 15 minutes in our e-log for our pre-trip. Doesn't always take me 15 minutes to do it, so. I think I'm gonna go get a Coke. I'm thirsty. Gotta go across the yard for that. They got a vending machine over there. Craving a Coke after all this tarping. Got my Coke. And I wanted a Pepsi too, cause you know, I'm about equal opportunity. So I ordered a Pepsi. I pushed the Pepsi button and I know I pe pushed the Pepsi button. And out came a 7-Up. This thing doesn't even have caffeine in it. 7-Up it is. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to North Dakota. Stop in America, gas tracks, Pembina, North Dakota, coffee time. My next stop after this will be in Fargo, fuel up. And then Mackenzie, North Dakota, then I come back to Valley City to pick up another load. Uh, it's a wide load of that farm equipment again. And I believe we're taking that farm equipment up to Brandon, turn Manitoba. Left West Stutzman Street. Then turn left. Where is this West Stutzman Street? I'm in a parking lot. Rocketing along here. I-29 southbound between Grand Forks and Fargo. Riveting scenery around these parts. One of my favorite drives. Especially when I'm limited to 60 miles an hour. I mean, that is the cherry on top of the whipped cream on top of the delicious lemon meringue pie. You know what I mean? The 60 mile an hour speed limiter. Oh, this is what I dream of when I'm not working. I dream of, man, I cannot wait to get on the road so I can do 60 miles an hour in a 75 mile an hour zone. This is the best. I'm feeling very sarcastic today. The speed limit is 75. I want to go 75. You know how much faster I can beat my customer? But trick or trash, it's all about fuel economy. Save the whales. I know. I, I know. It's emissions, fuel economy, burning fuel, killing the earth. I get it. Still, I, I still want to go faster. Tell you what. I know to go into Ontario, I have to be limited at 65 mile an hour anyway. But uh, if I ever buy this truck or something, 
I am opening it up to at least 65, at least. It's been a good day though. Aside from that, I'm just joking around being sarcastic here. It's been a, a really good drive. Cloudy today, kind of a miserable cloudy day, but it is warming up. And hey, it's springtime now. Did you guys know this? Did you guys know this? The snow is melting, I can feel it in the air. The days are longer. Literally, the daylight hours are longer, not just because daylight savings time. The daylight hours are longer. The sun went down at what, almost eight o'clock yesterday. And even with the daylight savings time, that still would have been seven o'clock before. In the middle of winter, the sun goes down at like 4.30, where we, where we live. And if you go further north, that's in southern Canada, like southern, west, southwestern Canada. If you go further north yet, there's even more or even less sunlight. Another guy wants to talk to me on the on the CB. Why would you want to talk to me on the CB? I'm gonna have to go check my load. I don't run with the CB, folks. Canadian plates. He's trying to, he's waving his CB around at me. One of these uh, good reasons, it'd be a good reason to have a CB in my truck. I'm just gonna pull over here on the off ramp and uh, see if there's anything wrong with my load that he was trying to notify me of. I do need to get the CB hooked up for this very reason. Usually, usually when someone tries to flag me that uh, like wave their CB around, uh, usually it's because uh, you guys might be uh, viewers of my vlog. And every now and then someone will come up beside me and wave and you know want to talk on the CB because they recognize me from YouTube. It doesn't happen that often, but every now and then it happens. And that's usually what it is. So usually when they're trying to get my attention to tell me that, hey, I want to talk to you on the CB, usually I take that as a sign there must be something wrong with my load. So I'm pulling over to go check my load. But almost every time it turns out, no, they just watch my YouTube videos and they wanted to chat on the CB. <laughs> I'm not taking chances. And I know what the comments are gonna be. You should have a CB, Trucker Josh. It's for safety. And you know what? I can't deny it, you're right. You're absolutely right. I just got back in. Some people really go fast on these on-ramps. I usually park on the on-ramp if I have to stop to check something, but man, people are just giving her down here. Turns out my backup lights were on, my load lamps were on. See, it didn't need to stop. If I just had a CB, oh well. I had to check the load anyways, right? So I took this off as an opportunity to check the whole load, make sure there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with the load. Just had my load lamps on. That's why they were trying to get my attention. The moral of the story today, get your CB hooked up. I'll probably always have it off, but then at least if they're trying to, you know, weigh their CB at me, I can turn it on. I don't know why I don't do that. It's just the wiring isn't set up in this truck for it. So I gotta get the wiring all set up. And, and you can't use it in Canada. So I only use it when I'm in the States. Let's get back on the road. You know one thing I've noticed? It's much more rare in the States for them to block one pump if one pump isn't working. I don't know if they get them fixed faster than they do in Canada, or if the ones in Canada just break more because it's so cold. Whenever you go to a Canadian Flying J, there's always at least two pumps that are blocked with the garbage can, just saying that, hey, this one's broken, can't use this one, right? And when I say always, I know I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you know what I mean, it just seems to happen more often. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's not, maybe that's not true. I swear I must have hit a skunk in the last, like last week sometime. The outside of the truck smells like skunk. And then when I stop, it sort of comes inside the truck. Is that you, Diesel? Must have hit a skunk at some point. In 1.4 kilometers, turn right on Alvier 10. Alrighty then. Apparently this is Mackenzie. My GPS didn't even know this town was here. I had to Google it. They got a truck stop here and everything, that's nice. Apparently they unload till 10 o'clock at night and it's 7.30 right now. So I'm gonna go right over the first come first serve. I'm gonna, just gonna show up and be like, hey, got just some peat moss.
where they're gonna unload me. It looks like a whole bunch of van trailers here. They took all my paperwork and held it for ransom. Now I have to leave the stuff here. They're not gonna give me my paperwork till I deliver myself. <laughs> okay, so apparently I'll go around the building. It still smells like skunk in here. Why? Is that you? Diesel, is that you? Do you need to go outside real quick? I can let you out right here. I probably shouldn't, but you haven't gone out since we left. One second. One second. We'll be back after these messages from Diesel. Uh... Never mind. Never mind. All right. We get to untarp this load inside. So that's pretty cool. minutes to 10 9 54 and they close here at 10 o'clock so we did it on time now we're gonna head back to Valley City might go check out our load that we got to tie down tomorrow and then get there early in the morning to tie that down I might even sleep right there we tie that down early in the morning and then take that up to Brandon First, I gotta let this little security guy here know that I'm leaving. So I made it right to where my trailer is. I'm actually underneath my new trailer that I'm gonna take off with tomorrow. I'm gonna tie it all down in the morning. I'm gonna get up early enough that I can get it done tomorrow. It's past my bedtime already. It's 1.30 in the morning, just about, and I'm out of hours. So technically, I shouldn't be tying down nothing anyway. Though I guess I could to get a head start on tomorrow, but nah. It looks like it's gonna be pretty simple to tie down. I've done more complicated loads before in the past. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and go down below to the description. Whole bunch of links to other places you can find me on the internet as well. I'm one of those people that's everywhere. I'm not gonna ask you to follow me here, follow me there, but hey, if you go down to the description down below, you'll find me everywhere. I'll see you tomorrow.